to my channel. Today, we'll be continuing with the discussion of the Pahang 2020 trial papers from question 16 to question 20. So now, let's begin with question 16. Okay, let's look at question number 16. So this chapter is under differentiation. So a curve with a gradient function, gradient function means it's dy dx, okay, has a turning point at 2, 3, the x is 2. Okay, determine whether the turning point is maximum or minimum. So to see whether it's maximum or not, if the d square y dx square, okay, is less than zero means it's maximum. So if the d square y dx square is more than zero, it means that it's minimum. Okay, now let's prove this. So dy dx that it give us is equals to 16x minus 2 over x square. Okay, so it's equal to 16x. I'm going to change this to index form. Okay, 2x power negative 2. Okay, so now I'm going to find the second derivative. So I'm going to differentiate again d square y over dx square is equal to, so 16. Okay, this negative 2 bring down will become positive 4x and then the power you minus 1 become negative 3. So now I'm going to change it to fractional form. So 16 plus 4 over x cubed. Okay, and then I'm going to substitute the value of x. So x is 2 in the question. Okay, x is 2. So I'm going to substitute inside. So 16 plus 4 over 2 cubed. Okay, 4 over 2 cubed. So this is 16 plus 4 over 8. So 4 over 8 is 0 0.5, right? Okay, it's half. So equals to 16.5. And this is positive. So if this is positive, it means that it's minimum point. Okay, so therefore it is, the turning point is a minimum point. I'm going to write a statement here. Okay, so the turning point. Okay, is a minimum point okay that's the answer let's look at question number 17 so this is a chapter under integration okay integration so given integration from 0 to 3 fx dx is 6 and integration from 3 to 5 fx dx is 8 so find the value of a integration from 0 to 5 fx dx and b k when Integration of from 0 to 5 fx plus kx dx equals to 39. And this is 3 marks. Okay, now let's solve for a first. So a, so integration from 0 to 5 fx dx. Okay, is equals to, so what they give you is from 0 to 3 and 3 to 5. So it's like a chain, 0, 3, then 3 to 5. Okay, so it's like a chain. So I'm going to write down, so from 0 to 3 fx dx okay plus integration from 3 to 5 fx dx okay so which is equals to this is 6 and this is 8 and the answer is 14 okay is it that easy okay now let's solve for b okay find the value of k okay so i'm going to write down the question first from 0 to 5 of fx plus kx dx equals to 39 so I'm going to separate it into two different integrations. So it becomes 0, 5, okay, of fx dx plus from 0 to 5, kx dx. And it's equals to 39. Okay, so the integration from 0 to 5 fx dx we already gotten here just now, which is 14. So I'm going to substitute inside, yeah? So 14 plus, and then the kx I'm going to integrate manually. So kx squared over 2 from... 0 to 5 and is equal to 39 okay then i'm going to continue my working here okay so we have 14 okay the 14 i'm going to bring over to the right hand side so i'm going to write this down kx square over 2 from 0 to 5 equals to 39 minus 14 okay so 39 minus 14 is 25 and then this one will be 5 square which is 25 over 2 k okay minus 0 Okay, so 25 over 2, I bring it over to the right hand side. So k is equal to 25 times 2 over 25. Then we can cancel this off. So therefore, our answer k is equal to 2. That's the answer. Let's look at question number 18. So 18 is under the chapter trigonometry. So a lot of my students, they hate this chapter because there's a lot of formula to memorize. But actually for this chapter, okay lah, you may refer to the formula, okay, but other chapters is better to memorize it by heart. So for this chapter, okay, you may refer to the formula, but you must know how to apply to the question, okay? 
So now let's solve for this question. So 3, I'm going to write down the question again. Okay, 3 cos square x plus sine 2x equals to 0. Okay, so for this sine 2x, we can actually change it. Okay, change it according to the formula. So 3 cos square x. Okay, so when I change it, it becomes 2 sine x cos x. Okay, sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. Okay, equals to 0. And then after that, you see whether we can factorize it or not. Okay, so we have cos square x and we have cos x. We can actually take out the cos x. Okay, so factorize the cos x. So we come 3 cos x, okay, plus 2 sin x equals to 0. Okay, and then after that, I take out the cos x, I bring it over here. So cos x equals to 0. So therefore, x is equals to, okay, shift cos of 0 is 90 and 270. Okay, so we've got two answers already. Okay, next, the second bracket is 3 cos x plus 2 sin x equals to 0. Okay, so now let's solve this. So we have 2 sin x. I, I leave it on the left side. So the 3 cos x, I'm going to move it to the right. It becomes negative 3 cos x. Okay, then after that, I'm going to put this sin x and cos x together. Okay, so sin over cos. So this will be negative 3 over 2. So sine over cos is actually tangent. Okay, so it's tangent. So tangent x is equal to negative 1.5. Okay, so if I were to draw this cast rule, C-A-S-T rule. Okay, when tangent is negative, okay, tangent is negative, then it will be this quadrant, second quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so we're going to use the calculator to calculate what is the x. Okay, when it's when it's acute angle, means in the first quadrant, okay, that will be the reference angle. So let's calculate shift tangent of 1.5. Okay, so we'll get 56.31. Did you get that? Okay, it's 56.31. Yeah, so which means that this is 56.31. Okay, but the answer is not 56.31 because the answer is in second and fourth quadrant. So to find the answer in second quadrant, I'm going to use 180 minus 56.31 okay so i'm going to write it here 180 degrees minus 56.31 degrees okay and the next one will be the fourth quadrant so to find the angle in the fourth quadrant we're going to use 360 minus the reference angle which is 56.31 okay so 360 degrees minus 56.31 degrees okay so now let's solve this okay so 180 minus the 56.31 so we'll get okay 123 123.69 degrees okay then the next one 360 minus 56.31 so we'll get 303.69 so 303.69 okay so now how many answers do we have we have four answers. So we're going to write them, we're going to put them together in ascending order. It means from smallest to biggest. Okay? So therefore, okay, x is equals to 90 and then 123.69 degrees. Okay? And next will be 270. And lastly, it will be 303.69. Okay? So that's the answer. Now, let's look at question number 19. Oh my god. Trigonometry again. No worries. Teacher Shirley will help you to solve this question. Okay? Okay, let's read the question. Given that sine theta is equal to Q, where Q is a constant and theta is between 90 to 180, it means that it's in the second quadrant. Okay, let's draw the second quadrant. Let me use a straight line. Eh? Okay, we draw. I draw it over here. Okay, like that. So it's the second quadrant, which means that it's over here. Okay, I'm done. So this is 90 degrees, okay? Because it's a right angle triangle. And this is the theta. Okay, now they say that sine theta equals to Q. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So which means that it's Q over 1, okay? So then the, uh, the bottom one will be 1 square 
minus q square so become 1 minus q square then you square root it but since it's on the left side so it's negative okay so now let's solve for a and b so for a cosec theta so what is cosec theta let's look at the third alphabet okay so if it's cosec if the alphabet is s it means that it's 1 over sine theta okay remember that okay so cosec cosec theta is equal to 1 over sine theta okay so 1 over sine theta so sine theta is q is already in the question here ah it's given in the question already so it's 1 over q that's the answer for a isn't that easy right okay let's solve for b so b is sine 2 theta so sine 2 theta the formula is 2 sine theta cos theta okay so equals to so sine theta is given in the question which is q so 2q okay and then cos theta will be ka a over h so this is okay yeah let me write in red so this will be a okay and this will be h okay so so cos theta will be so negative square root of 1 minus q square then over 1 okay so the final answer is negative 2q square root 1 minus q square so that's the answer let's look at question number 20 so this chapter is under circular measure diagram 5 shows a sector opq of a circle with center o and a sector jkl of a circle with center j so given PO is 10 cm. Okay, where is PO? So PO is over here. Okay, KJ is 8 cm. So where is KJ? KJ is over here. And angle POQ is 1.5 radian. So POQ, okay, so here is 1.5 radian. Okay, 1.5 red. And angle KJL is 0 0.5 KJL. So here, okay, this is 0 0.5 red. Okay, radian okay so find the area in cm square of shaded region oh so how to find this okay so we're going to use the formula okay of twining area of a sector so area the formula okay is half r square theta and the theta must be in radian okay remember that yeah okay so now i'm going to substitute so how to find the shaded region i'm going to use okay the big sector minus the small sector okay it means the area of the big sector minus the area of the small sector okay so area of shaded region okay is equals to so the bigger one will be half the radius is 10 so 10 square and the theta for the big sector is 1.5 so 1.5 okay then i minus the smaller sector so half the radius for the smaller one is 8 square and then the theta is 0 0.5 okay so now let's take out your calculator and count okay so the first one 100 divided by 2 times 1.5 so i've got 75 for the first one the bigger one is 75 the next one okay 64 divided by 2 times 0.5 okay so we get 16 for the second one so 16 okay so 75 minus 16 is 59 okay so the answer is 59 and what is the unit the unit is because it's in cm all the measurement in cm it means that the area must be in cm square okay cm square so that's the answer well that's it question 16 to question 20 stay tuned to my next video which is the final part of the paper one pahang 2020 coming up very very soon and remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my latest videos till then i hope to see you in my next video bye